Hello everybody, welcome back to Jersh Reacts. In this video, I'm going to react to a mini mixtape as requested by Patreon executive producer Tris. Uh, I did not look at the entirety of the playlist for this mini mix, so I don't know uh, if they're, all the songs are going to be by the same artist. I just know that this first one is by Trixie Mattel because I loaded up the playlist and this is the first video here. So looks like this song is called I Know You All Over Again. Now, uh, Tris did say that I that this song is her favorite Trixie Mattel song, so I'm looking forward to hear it, and then we'll see what the rest of the mixtape has to offer. So let's go. It was almost. I don't money. smell you in my sheets, and I don't hear you in the hall. Without your cologne, DC you calls on the phone. I don't know you at all. And I'm growing older. I know that we're over the way we always had been. Little minor action and there. I see you, and I know you all over again. That's a good song. I don't leave you in the night And I don't up and go away No green in your eyes Or teary goodbyes No one cries on the plane I know I'm adjusting I know I should just think And I see you, and I know you all over again. Good lyric. The whole song lyrically is probably is really good. The music, I mean, I could take a lead country if music, but. If I listen to songs that we lived in, the stories are staying the same. The short song. I'm going to pause it now so I can talk a little bit about it. Didn't realize it was so short. Uh, this is lyrically, this is a great song, songwriting wise. Um, just about. Let's see. It seems like it's about growing old with somebody and those moments when they seem like a stranger because so much has changed throughout the years, how life has impacted you, good and bad. But then there's these moments when you, you see them or certain situations and then you you are reminded of the person that they are and who you are together. So I think that's a, that's a beautiful sentiment. Um, I want to... Let's see, yeah. Let's finish it since it's such a short song, but then I'll go back. We'll figure it out on guitar really quick. Stay in the same. I lie by the speaker, just getting weaker until I remember your name. And I'll call you when I cry. And I don't stay the day in bed. Mostly I'm fine, and most of the time I give by, like I said. And I, I, I like the melody as well. I haven't been drinking, I haven't been thinking of lonely if only's in there. Minor. Then I see you, and I know you all over again. Then I see you, I love you all over again. That's a great song. It's a well-written song. It's a beautiful sentiment. It's a good melody. Only problem is that it's country music. Let's figure it out real quick. <clears throat> That's not a problem objectively. It's a problem for me specifically. Older, I know that we're over the way we always had been. 
Minor. And then I see you, and I know you all over again. And I don't That's D. Let's figure out that little melody play. That middle note. And I don't leave you in the I know you all over again. And I don't leave no. you in the night. And I know you all over again. Over again. And I know you all over I know you all over again. And yeah, I don't that's leave it. you in the night. Again. And I don't leave you in the night. Oh, I'm missing a note. It's bothering me. I see you. And I know you all over again. That middle fucking note, dude. That's it. I think that's I'm ninety nine percent sure that's it. All over again. It's not though. What's wrong with me right now? It's one fucking note. And I, and I know. I was hit, I was starting it with the wrong note. And I, and I don't leave you in the night. I'm sorry to put you all through this, but here we are. Okay. I, in le, in less than 60 seconds we'll have this. I was starting on the wrong note. I was starting here, and it starts here. So I was like, where's the middle note? I was playing the middle note. It's and then okay. Anyway. Over again. I don't leave you, I know you all over again. And I don't leave you in the night. And then I see you, and I know you all over again. And I don't leave you in the night. Okay, so it goes there soon. Over again. I know you all over again. And I don't all right, leave we're two thirds of the way there. And I know you all over again. Yeah, I just need to get that little last note. You all over again. And I don't leave you in the night. Okay. That's it. So, then we'll, yeah, then we'll move on. So it's just D. G. A. G. D. And 
there's that little Then it goes to a G minor at the end of the... I'm going to play that a hundred times because I fucking earned it. All right, here we go. Great song. Let's see what's next. Video games. Is this a cover of Lana Del Rey? I learned how to play video games at one point. Musically, it sounds like the Lana Del Rey song. Swinging in the backyard, yep. pull up in your fast car, whistling my name. I'm Open really. Up a beer, I'll talk about it in over a here and play a video game. I'm in his favorite sundress, watching me get undressed, take the body downtown. I like this rendition. I see the best leaning for a big kiss, put your favorite perfume on, go play a video game. It's you, it's you, it's all for you, everything I do, I tell you all the time. Heaven is a place on earth with you, tell me all the things you want to do. And I heard that you like the bad girls, honey, is that true? I like the up-tempo. It's better than I ever even knew. They say that the world was built for two. Only worth living if somebody is loving you. But baby, now you do. God, I haven't played this. I haven't played it. I don't remember how to play it. I have to relearn it. Singing in the old bar, swinging with the old stars, living for the fame. Kissing in the blue dark, playing pool and wild darts, video games. He holds me in his big arms, drunk and I'm seeing stars, this is all I think of. Watching all the friends fall in and out of old balls, this is my idea of fun. We'll play a video game. It's you, it's you, it's all for you, everything I do, I tell you all the time. Heaven is a place on earth with you, tell me all the things you want to do. And I heard that you like the bad girls, honey, is that true? It's better than I ever even I like this old west, old arcade video game stuff too. too. Fucking capos. Baby, now you do. It's you, it's you, it's all for you. Everything I do, I tell you all the time. Heaven is a place on earth with you. Tell me all the things you want to do. And I know that you like the bad girls. Honey, is that true? Insert coin. <laughs> um, I I thought that that was a great cover. The one thing that I was going to say earlier, but I figured I'd wait for the song to finish, is that I feel like, especially when I start reactions to new artists that I've never heard before, everybody leads me to the best stuff. Like, I wish that I could have led up to video games and Born to Die by Lana Del Rey because I still think those are probably my two favorite songs of hers. So 
Yeah, I really regret starting with what I think are her best songs. She has a lot of other really good songs that I like. The love song gets stuck in your head, even though it, uh, I think in the initial reaction, I was like, yeah, I got it, because it was a very not different song uh, from a musical perspective, just that it was just another CGA minor F song. But the melody she sings on it really gets stuck in your head. Anyway, uh, this was a fun cover. I really like, of course, the stripped down acoustic. I loved that. I liked the aesthetic of the Old West with the video game. Like, I don't even think in the video game music video from Lana Del Rey there's any fucking video games. Like, at least this get understood that you should probably include some sort of actual reference to a video game. Anyway. Good cover. I should relearn that song. I almost got it, but I didn't want to distract from the song too much. All right, keep going. It's a good song. I never learned it. Let me see just really quick if I can figure it out, and then we'll just listen to the cover. These are short songs. Is it really? We'll have to hear the chorus to do the chorus. When I'm a walking, I scrub my stuff, and I'm so strung out. <laughs> I'm high as a kite, I just might stop to check you out. Let me go on, like a blister in the sun. Let me go on, be here to know you want. That's a really easy riff. When I'm walking, I strum my stuff, and I'm so strung out. I'm high as a kite, I just smart stop to check cool. you out. When I'm walking, That's a clever I stuff, layer. And I'm so strung out. I'm high as a kite, I just smart stop to check you out. Body and beats, I stay my sheets, I don't even know why. My girlfriend, <laughs> she's at the end, she is stunned to cry. When I'm walking, I strut my stuff, and I'm so strung out. I'm high as a kite, I just might stop to check you out. Let me go on. What an interesting melody, though. Especially for the chorus. That was fun. <coughs> so did she get her start doing cover songs like this and then do her own original music? Or was it original music first and then she did covers for fun? No matter how hard I try you keep pushing me aside and I can't break through There's no talking to you <laughs> So sad that you're leaving It takes time to Supposed to do a thousand degrees of auto-tune there But after all is said and done Oh my god, I can't believe you're this You're gonna be the lonely one Oh, do you believe in life after love? I can feel something inside me say I really don't think I'm strong enough no. GTA minor C Do you believe in life after love? 
I can feel something inside me say, I really don't think I'm strong enough, no. Definitely heard this song before, it's Cher. What am I supposed to do? Oh my god. Sit around and wait for you. Well, I can't do that. And there's no turning back. I need time to move on. I need love to feel so. Cause I got time to think it through. And maybe I'm too good for you. I'll play it. I'll play it without the song just so you can hear it. So it's This is the verse. Now that's like the full chord way that I think Trixie is playing it. If you want to play it yourself, in a previous reaction a little while ago, I talked about the power chord shape of two fingers on, on two strings and then the pointer finger two frets down a string above it. So, you know, if the top string is on the second fret, if the top finger on the top string is on the second fret, which is this second little space here, the fret, Okay, All right, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay, second fret, then your other two fingers should be on the fourth fret underneath it, it's just a two fret space. Anyway, so the power chord version of this song is just... Anyway, I haven't heard this song in forever. It's amazing that I'm... I, I was wondering if it was going to be Yellow Cards Believe because that was a pretty big song in the early 2000s too, at least amongst the pop punk crowd. And it seems like Trixie will cover anything. So anyway, let's keep going. I can feel something inside me say I really don't think I'm strong enough, no And I know that I'll get through this And I know that I am strong And I don't need you anymore I don't need you anymore And I don't need you anymore I don't need you anymore Do you believe in life after love? I can feel something inside me say I really don't think I'm strong enough, no Do you believe in life after love? And I can feel something inside me say I really don't think I'm strong enough, no I really don't think I'm strong enough, no. What I like about these covers is it's almost like the perfect version of, of a cover for my taste, which is you don't want to completely lose the original song, but you don't want to be so slavish to the original song that you're asking, why did you ever make a cover? Like, there's a couple of cover songs that I've heard that I'm like, this is literally the exact same song. It's just you're singing it. Why even bother? You didn't do your thing with it. 
and she's doing her thing with it. You know what I mean? It's it's the country twang. It's it's a different. It's a change of tempo, and uh, they're really good covers. Different tempo, different effect. <laughs> <laughs> we got married in a fever Hotter than a pepper sprout We've been talking about Jackson Ever since the fire went out I'm going to Jackson I'm going to mess around I feel like this is a cover as well It's a Johnny Cash song Jackson. Look out Jackson Tom Go ahead and wreck your health. I feel like this is like a Johnny and Go June. Your hand, you big Do what? Talking man and make a big fool of yourself. Yeah, sort of yeah, go to Jackson. Go comb your hair. <laughs> oh, honey, I'm gonna snowball Jackson. See if I care. When not breezing. What the fuck is up with this motherfucker? Like, at the time of this recording, at the time of this recording, I have recorded another Orville Peck uh, reaction. I just have not released it yet. I don't, I have to look at my schedule to see which video is going to come out first. I don't know, but <clears throat> well, maybe this question will have already been answered. But what the fuck is up with this fucking motherfucker? That's my uh, very professional question. To that city, people gonna stoop and bow. Ha! All them women gonna make me teach them what they don't know how. I'm going to Jackson. You turn over in my coat. Cause I'm gonna do Jackson. Goodbye, that's all she wrote. But they'll laugh at you in Jackson. I'll be dancing on a pony keg. They'll lead you around like a scalded hound with your tail tucked between your legs. Yeah, go to Jackson, you big talking man. And I'll be waiting in Jackson. You're gonna be waiting a long time. <laughs> I'll catch you if I can. Well, now we got. Jackson ain't never coming back. Yahoo! Yeah, it's definitely that's another cover, I think. <laughs> that was a it was a fun one. I wait. 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 I don't think this is supposed to play. No. Yeah, that was the last track. Okay. All right, so let's see what Tris had to say. The first song is my favorite song by this artist. It's a very, this is a very good song. The next four songs are from a short EP from the same artist. So obviously, it, yeah, those were all covers. That's what connects those uh, songs, is that they are all cover songs, as far as I can tell. Um, there isn't much more to say. I mean, those are songs I've heard before. I, I didn't, I guess I could have done a lyrical analysis of Share, Believe, since I never really have, but I just fit, even then at the time, I was just like, this is just such a, just a normal pop song. There's not a ton of depth to it. It's, you know, the lyrics speak for themselves. Um, video games I've done before. Again, I'm pretty sure it's a Johnny Cash cover. Um... And then, 
Yeah, this original song. Now, I've been introduced to a lot of drag queens over the last couple of months, uh, courtesy of Tris, and I will say that I get that a lot of it is just kind of, you know, it's entertainment, it's... It's fun. It's not. It's tongue in cheek. It's not very self serious. But I really feel like Trixie Mattel stands out for me because the original songs that I've heard are good, just straight up good. They're very solid lyrically, very catchy melodically, and the music. It's not complicated. Like it, it's not. It's obvious, It's not Taylor Swift level, but it's not that far off either. Like, Taylor Swift uses a lot of the same chords over and over and over in a lot of different songs of hers that I like. So Trixie Mattel doing the same thing, doing a lot of standard tuning, regular chords that I've that everyone knows and, and everyone loves. And, and, I mean, I personally grew up on all the music that I write is in standard tuning. I just try to do different things with the chords, but, you know, G chord... Know, these these standard tuning major chords or sometimes minor chords uh, have stood the test of time because we like them and so it takes it does in my opinion it takes it's either really lazy or it's really risky to just say well I'm gonna write a song with just these main chords and you're gonna like it and you either have to do a really good job lyrically and melodically over those chords as the backdrop to justify that or uh i'm just gonna think you're lazy full shit trying to cash on on some e easy chords to play you know what i mean so but i think in her instance there it's it's good music what was i playing freebird Say the opening chords of Freebird are also the opening chords of Do You Wanna Hurt Me? Um, which made famous by the wedding singer, in my opinion. I just picture Steve Buscemi crying. Do, 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 do. How can love be real? Anyway. Um, trying to think. Let me find another bonus 90s song, since this was a shorter bit. It doesn't get much more 90s than Alanis Morissette. Uh, this was a big song. Uh, this is a big album. Jagged Little Pill was a huge album and uh, basically is responsible for her career of the last several decades, as far as I'm concerned. I know she's made probably a ton of music since then that I haven't heard. And I've only heard the single hits off of this album. I've never heard the whole album, like the album otherwise, anything that wasn't a single. And I think she had one, I think, Thank You in the late 90s or early 2000s was probably the last music I've heard of Alanis Morissette. And as I was racking my brain for 90s music, I thought, well, let's check out something that is tech was probably technically pop at the time, but is more of a singer-songwriter type song to see how it holds up. It's been a while since I've heard this, so here we go. Also, apparently on her YouTube, she released this in 4K, so this should be a pretty high fidelity, considering it was made in the 90s. What chords are these?
Interesting. Still very catchy. Remember when music videos were good? Or at least... I don't remember this part at all. This is a really good song. Um... What I don't necessarily mean good, because there are plenty of I've especially enjoyed a lot of really good music videos over the last like year and a half. But what I mean is, like, iconic, groundbreaking, lampooned. Like, I feel like this video was lampooned a lot because it was so big, similar to like you know the scene from The Matrix or a scene from Star Wars. Like, it's so big and everybody knows it and gets the reference so much that it's lampooned everywhere. I feel like everybody did like a, I'm gonna be four personalities in a car. I don't know. Maybe not, but yeah, it's kind of memorable. I don't know. When you're already late, a no smoking sign on your cigarette. And just a ton of clever, ironic lyrics. Good melody. Man, how old was she here? There's like so much snow built up on the side of the car. Plus... Thank you for your subscription. Um, so this was made in the 90s, and I think the point is that she's driving an old car, so that's probably an 80s car. Can we take a minute to enjoy the interior? Look at all this. Oh, I thought the point was going to be that That maybe she never left, that it was all in her head. Anyway, thank you, Tris, for your support and for this mixtape. I really like Trixie Mattel. Hopefully you all liked the bonus video here. Let me know uh, if you watch this video. Make sure you like it, comment. Let me know some of your thoughts on my thoughts as far as... Uh, and maybe let me know, does Trixie Mattel... Is she elevated in that space, or is she just kind of another face that everybody liked equally? Because I really feel like she stands out musically. And also, let me know what you thought of uh, the bonus video here. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.